Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with this month's mystery kit. I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna say that this, this was completely planned out for this theme, for this month and everything. <laughs> um, just kidding, it just actually happened to work perfectly and stuff like that. So I'm gonna flip this over. So now is your chance that if you don't want to see what the kit looks like, you can exit out. However, if you do wanna see what the kit looks like, because either you're like me and you want to know what it's all about or you're not a subscriber. Stay tuned because I'm going to flip it over. Okay, so one, two, three, here we go. Ha, ha. Okay, we're going to go through each of the options that we have. And we're going to talk about it. Okay, so this is very much a like road trip type kit. It's got odes to Route 66. Funny thing, I live very, very close now to historic route 66. Um, so I'm just gonna say that this was this was planned out, okay? We just moved here um, and did a little road trip and I can't wait to actually go drive historic route 66. I'm so excited. All right, so option number one is going to be our full kit. This is a 10 page kit, so you get to stretch this baby out. And I mean, there's so much that happens in here. Um, I've had people ask me to make monthly kits that um, respond to this. So I'm going to show you how you can convert this, at least the washi, um, the bottom washi, and then a set of washi to become a monthly kit for you. Okay. So 10 pages. We'll start with this. You get full boxes. You get bottom washi and headers. Checklist, deco, weekend banners half boxes and third boxes, lined and unlined. The very famous a functional sampling box page. You get the solid boxes. You get the patterned boxes. You get two strips of date covers plus glitter headers. And then you have another bottom washi with other checklists. Like I said, you get to stretch this out really, really far. And then this one goes, this set of full boxes goes to the full kit only. Um, you'll see parts of this to like the weeks and everything, but to get like the full look at it all, you'll only get it in the full kit. So that's the 10 pages there. Um, I think that's what we're going to plan with today. In fact, yeah, I'm going to set that to the side. That's what we're going to plan with. Cause I'm going to show you how to do the monthly, the monthly kit. Okay. Then you have the mini kit and this is not a format we offer in the shop, but it is very much based off the full kit option. Um, that gives you a lot to work with. Like this is perfect for a week and you will still have a few stickers left over to bring into other spreads um, as needed type thing. And I love to, um, if I use this one and then I pull like the bottom washi or pull, hold on. If I use this one and I use the washi um, for and I have them right here. And I use the washi as the bottom washi, then I can use this as the um, washi for the monthly. And then once I'm done with that, then I have leftover functional stickers that I can pull into the monthly. So it's really great format, five pages, um, based off of just some of the very most used type stickers out of this one. So you get the full boxes, you get the bottom washi with the um, checklist, then you get this where you get a bunch of functional boxes and then some half and third boxes. You get the solid box type sampler so that you get lots of like quarter size labels and then a bunch of functional type boxes. And then you have this where you have your like sidebar day cover, some deco weekend banners um, so that you can do like a whole week spread. So that's the mini kit. I'll go over the freebies and what each kit gets as soon as we're done with this um, going through the options. Um, and all pricing will always be linked down in the description box below. Uh, next option is our weeks option. And this one comes with, that's an extra page. And then you get two of the um, weeks slash mini slash B6 formatted type um, kits. So that's what we have there. Oh goodness, allergies. Um, so here's set number one. Okay. There you have, there you have that. So you'll have set number one always has the weekend adventures banner um, and everything there. And then the set number two has the second type banner 
down there. So you have that. And then the fifth page is this where you get some checklists and you get some boxes as well. Okay, so then the next one is the academic kit. And it is basically these two sets. Well, it is these days. It's not basically. It is these two weeks slash mini slash B6, that fifth page. And then you have the academic add-on right here. So you've got the skinny washi labels. You've got some decorative boxes. And then you have your sidebar boxes. So that's that option there. And then we move into the Hobonichi Cousin. And this is five pages as well. So it gives you lots to work with. And the, the idea behind this still stemmed from being able to also use it as a monthly kit. So these boxes not only work in your weekly, like with your weekly at a glance um, columns, it also fits in your monthly uh, section as well. And then because you have two sets of washi, you can use one for the monthly and one for your weekly. You have checklists, um, samplers, lots of boxes to choose from. And this is all size for the Hobonichi uh, cousin. And then you have this sampler page or this um, like sidebar page. So very similar to the mini kit option, but obviously you have you get the extra thing of date covers and a couple extra things just because of how tiny everything needs to be um, for the Hobonichi cousin. And then last but certainly not least, and I love this one so much because it doesn't have the decorative full boxes in it. It's a journaling kit. So the sky is the limit. You're not, like it has themed papers, obviously, but you are really just dealing with like papers and color. And I, this is my favorite page ever. Oh my goodness, my favorite page. And can you tell that this is like my favorite pattern going on? I love that pattern. So four page journaling kit. Um, these three pages are standard in our shop. And then you get this added on fourth page here, which is so much fun. You get not only patterned um, like paper tears, you get solid colors with some regular grid and wavy grid. So here's page one, page two, page three, and page four. Okay. So then all kits come with the date dots and squiggles and the B6 washi. So if you have a B6 planner, you can, you know, this one's formatted for our planner. That's why you have the sh three strips. However, you don't have to have a B6 in order to use this. You can use this in your monthly view. You can use this um, if you have like an hourly planner, you can use that to mark off a huge block of time. Like this works so well in so many ways. And it's a solid color, so you can pull it into a different spread if need be. So B6 washi, date dots and squiggles all come with. And then we have, and I was supposed to open these up before I started filming, but I forgot. So all kits will receive this 10 millimeter foiled washi. Let me find the end and open it up here. So you can see, I love this one. Love this one. This one is very like hitting the road, um, you know, the dash lines down the center of the road, all of that. Like, so there's, there's that. Um, so it's a really dark gray with a hollow silver um, foil. And then the full kit. So if you subscribe to the one that has 10 pages, this is the washi you will get. And I really, I was, when I say I was drawn to this pattern, I was really drawn to this pattern. And I really try to keep the washi so that you can use it in other spreads. So like, oh, I'm so obsessed with these zigzag colors and everything. So that is the washi that the full kits will get. So signups are now until the 24th when spots close. And yeah, all right, so let's pull this out and let me grab some of my things that I need. Okay, so I'm gonna set the rest of those off to the side and we have this. So we're in a plan for May 29th through June 4th. And the reason why I did that is because this month doesn't have a monthly kit laid down. Like when I was looking at what was it, May? May already had their kit laid down. And so I was like, you know what? I want the kit and the month to match. So that's why we're doing this. Not that I have a road trip planned for this time frame because I don't. 
at least not yet. Um, and yeah, okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna keep this one, this bottom washi, we're gonna use on the monthly section. And then let's see, so we've got that. I'm just trying to pull out what I know I'm going to use, what I'm not going to use. Oh yeah, and I think we're gonna use those full boxes for sure. Okay, so we're gonna set those off to the side and let's get going. Okay, so adventures have been happening. I wish I was, I wish I was kidding. Um, so yesterday, which was Saturday, and if you're in the Facebook group, then you probably, you probably saw. So my kids ended up catching a tortoise outside in our backyard. We don't know where it came from. We have a bunch of wooded area behind us. We don't know if he came from the woods or if he's somebody's pet, although nobody has said that they're missing a pet. So, I mean, I don't know. Ooh. Now the struggle comes, do I use the headers? Or do I use the glitter headers? Pattern headers, glitter headers. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do just yet. So they caught a tortoise, which it's my kids. I don't expect anything different um, and stuff. So they caught a tortoise and they were all loving it. And in fact, actually they ran upstairs too, because I was down here working they ran up to dad to be like can we keep them can we keep them and stuff and i knew that as soon as they said that i was like of course they're gonna run to dad because dad says yes a lot more than mom does and so when we're sitting in the backyard they're like can we keep them can we keep them and it's like oh we can put them out here and we can put a cage out here and i'm like we're not doing that one we're in a rental two we don't have a fenced backyard I don't want to keep an animal outside in a cage where possible predators can come and just torment it um, and stuff. And I was like, no, we're not. We are not doing that. And they're like, well, we can bring it inside. No, 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 we're not. We're not doing that either because I have a cat and I'm not going to deal with the cat trying to get at this thing and the dogs being interested. I was like, no, guys, just, just let him be outside. Like that's that's what we're gonna do just let just let him be let him be let it go let it go yeah all of that okay let's see what are we gonna do here okay i think we're gonna use this one up in this area up here there we go mm, so glitter or pattern glitter pattern glitter pattern i don't know where's my Let's see. Oh, always I'm gonna go glitter. I'm just gonna go glitter. It just makes me happy. So, but yeah. So shortly after that, hubby and oldest left for a Taekwondo tournament. Um, it was about an hour away, 45 minutes to an hour, I guess it just depends on traffic and weather and stuff like that. Um, and they went out that way. And I was like, are you gonna take the van or are you gonna take the car? They're like, we're gonna take the car. Now, mind you, we have an older car because when Steve's other car died, um, we didn't know what we were going to do. One, we knew that we didn't want a car payment. And two, um, we knew we were gonna be moving. So it was kind of like, what, what do we do? So we ended up selling his car to an auto auction um, for parts and took that money and went and bought another little, you know, commuter vehicle. That's the word I'm looking for, commuter vehicle. All right, 29th through the 4th. Let me grab my date dots out here so that I can get this stuff going. Oh, May has 31 days. Okay, I have to just sometimes remind myself how many, how many days a month has stuff but yeah so he was like I'm gonna take the car we bought that for it and we've had problems with the battery like it sometimes won't want to turn over we're like okay we'll get it fixed we'll get it fixed right and every time why did I put the date dots back after I pulled just these three numbers out wow I am bad in a thousand today 
and we were we went out to lunch the other day because I turned to him we were working in the office and I said turned to him and I'm like will you take me out to lunch today and he's like yes I'll take you out to lunch I was like yay so we went out and had lunch and when we got done with lunch we went out to the car the car wouldn't start and I was like oh looks like somebody's walking home I'm not gonna walk home <laughs> no okay I probably would have because it's not like we lived that far away I just didn't want to I just didn't want to walk home so we let it sit for a minute and then the noise that needs to happen that we're like oh yeah something's something's working with it happened and then we were able to turn it over we we're like woohoo so they decided the car started up just fine when they went to go leave um and they left for this taekwondo tournament uh we're still looking for a taekwondo studio of which one they want to um do for uh which one they want to do for, you know, extracurricular activity type things. So they all, all three of the boys have black belts in WTF certified Taekwondo. And we can't find one of those studios here. Um, the studio that we did find is ITF certified. So they would be dropped down probably to beginning belts again, um, which they're fine with. Um, my... Second oldest wanted to find a different a different type of martial arts to do, so we've been looking, and nothing has quite appealed to their to their level. They are a little intense, um, all of them, which is really great for instructors because they're like these kids are gonna put forth the effort. But for the kids that are there, it kind of is scary because they're like these guys are intense. So we've been looking at a whole bunch of different studios and stuff and so we they went to the competition to see if maybe there were studios out there that hadn't that hadn't come in our, up in our google search right and majority well pretty much all of them there were from itf certified schools so it seems that itf is kind of the dominant thing around here um so i uh or they're like, okay, I think this is what we're going to end up going with. So they go, they go out there, go watch the tournament and <laughs> come to leave and the car won't start. It won't even make its clicking noise that it sometimes does when it says it's like getting ready to, to turn over, right? So I get this text message from my husband saying, um, I think you're going to need to come pick us up. I'm like, you're kidding me. I was about five minutes away from starting my filming I was having a moment where I was updating planners um and stuff which oh by the way I should probably show you guys what this last week has looked like because you know so that's what this is funny it's funny this was last month's mystery kit um so the only thing I didn't get done yesterday was filming and social media. I mean, I did do a little bit that could be considered filming and obviously social media, um, but not for what I had had planned. And then I don't have Sunday out yet. So anyways, <laughs> um, I was about five minutes away from starting my whole filming endeavor and I get that text message and I was like, you're kidding me, right? And he's like, no. So he kept trying and kept trying. He's like, I need you to find our little um, portable jump starter pack, you know. Uh, so when he was up in Chicago, we got him, ooh, what do I want to do? How did I do... Okay, so I know, okay, so I don't have anything. Okay, it's not gonna really matter what I do because this is so far away. Okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna do something completely different. Not exactly sure what that difference is going to be just yet. Um, I kind of want to use these doodle boxes because I have not used those doodle boxes in quite some time. So, okay, so we're going to make Monday and Tuesday the same. And then we're going to make Saturday and Sunday the same. 
And that I think will work out rather well. Okay, I think now that my brain is there. Okay, so in the midst of like getting ready to like start my planning, I was looking for certain things and I did have some moments where my brain um, had like, oh, I got distracted. I got distracted from the task at hand and started cleaning out my drawers next to me and organizing and stuff. And it's, I've really been paying attention to some of the things that I actually do and that nobody's ever like picked up on I've picked up on and then me and my husband anyways like talking about it he's like oh yeah you do do that I'm like yeah I do okay do I want to use checklist or not yes I want to use checklist because I have the root 66 thing on here okay so where are we gonna start let's start with this color so yeah I got distracted and then had to do that so we had to pack everybody up to get them to, uh, like I said, I'm obsessed with this, with this uh, pattern. So it's like I have to, I have to use this pattern. Like it's just gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Okay, then we'll use one of these. All right, so let's do a patterned one. Like I said, I'm obsessed with that pattern, but I think we're gonna go no, because that's a green. Okay, sorry, I'm getting a little distracted. It's not always the easiest. This is why, no, because that's gray and orange. That's not what I want to do either. Jeez, having a heck of a time with this one. All right, here we go. So much better, so much better. There we go. Yeah, I figured it out, figured out my life. Uh, this is why I think I like to do voiceovers a little bit more because then I could just focus on this and... Um, Focus on this and then be able to talk to you about the stories. So I'm going to segue for just a minute and I'll get back to the story. Um, I am going to be changing up some of what I do on this channel come, come May. Because there's things that I want to talk about. Things that I've been diving in on research. Um, things that I just want to be able to... Like I said in my, I think it was last week I said it, things that I want to like talk about, things, you know, tips that have helped me, maybe they'll help you if you're struggling with some of the same things, all that stuff. And I don't feel like I can accurately do that or adequately do that when I can't stay on topic very well because I'm being distracted by so much of this stuff. So that is one of the things that that does, oh shoot, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, perfect, perfect, that'll work. I said I wanted to use the, the doodle boxes and then I was gonna do them Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. No, this'll work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This'll be perfect, okay. We got this, we got this, see? I get distracted. So I am in the process of looking up different, well, not even really looking up different ways, but looking up ways that I can um, modify the YouTube channel, different things that I can do. And my husband and I have been talking and I might be going back to doing voiceovers where, you know, I'm like, okay, we speed it up to make it a even 20 minute video or 25 minute video, right? And then that's how long I get to talk for. Um, and it puts me so that I don't get off topic so easily, that I don't get so distracted so easily. Cause like I said, going back and forth just really is something hard for my brain um, and stuff. So I don't wanna do the change immediately without having a plan of action, right? Okay, so back to my husband. Um, he, uh, oh, I look like, it looks like I can add a couple of other things on this one. He is like, I'm going to give it a try again, all that. We pack up the kids. I head out there. Sure enough, I get into the car and guess what? My car needs gas. Of course it does. <laughs> so I have to stop and get gas and I'm trying to hightail it out there because one, I have, um, I have things that I have to do here, like my filming day is supposed to be happening, right? And um, 
filming day supposed to be happening, so I want to get back so that I have time to do that. So we get up there. I bring the little battery pack charger, that, um, not the one that we bought for when he was in Chicago, but a different one and that he had for the inside of his car for like charging his his phone and everything and we what do I do I think I'm gonna use yellow um oh goodness uh get out there I'm charging it because it hasn't been plugged in in quite some time right so I get out there and um yeah let's go this one get out there hand it to him he does it and it's just like you can tell you can tell that it's getting a little bit of a charge um but definitely not enough of a charge for it to hold and the battery so <laughs> my husband's like crap so here we are in the middle of the small little town an hour away from where we currently live They've been gone all day. You know, they're obviously tired. Let's see. Okay, so it's gonna be a patterned one. Yes, we're gonna use this pattern again. I like this pattern. Um, so they are like, what are we, you know, they've been gone for a while, what are we gonna do? He comes up to the window after trying several times to get the car to start and he goes, what are the chances we have tools in the car? Cause he's got to take the battery out and we got to find ourselves like an auto zone to get the battery tested and and stuff because they do that for free and you guys i swear the you know whatever you believe in good lord above karma good vibes whatever it is right was in our favor that day because we had a full tool set in the car a full tool set yeah so we were like, whoo, because the last thing I want to do is go find like a Home Depot or a Lowe's or something and having to buy more tools of stuff that we actually don't need, right? So I was really, really happy that we, we found this. And, um, okay, so what comes next? There, it's going to be solid and then that, okay. So we, um get the battery unplugged, get it over to AutoZone to get it tested. We go sit and have lunch. And sure enough, they give a call and they're like, yeah, your battery's dead, you're gonna need a new battery. And we kind of figured that's where it was headed, right? So went and bought a new battery and went and got it installed. And sure enough, clicked on, no problem, no problem. So of course it was a battery the entire time. Um, so yeah, okay, let's see, let's go go how do I want to do this I feel like all of this is really crooked and it probably is so I'm gonna try and fix some things just a little bit here okay let's see does that make me feel better kind of okay I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put too much I'm not gonna put far too much effort into it but anyways um so yeah uh, that was the adventure as soon as he gets done latching up the, oh, I don't know what they're called. I'm not a car person, but the connectors, you're positive and negative and you have to attach them anyways. Um, as soon as he gets done with that, the rain starts. Okay, so let's go patterned. The rain starts and it's like hightailing it out of there. Um, and everything because it was supposed to have hail with it. And yeah, that's no bueno when you're driving. So we're hightailing it. Mind you, we stopped for lunch. We stopped for lunch and oh my goodness, why did I drink full two big cups of sweet tea? Because, and then the rain comes down and I'm like, I got to go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. So I am like flying down the road, hoping not to get caught by a cop because I just want to get home and I just want to get, you know, to the bathroom. And then torrential rain starts and I'm like, crap, this is not good because now I can't see because, you know, I'm blind and can't see 
four feet in front of me sometimes. I have astigmatism, so at night and definitely with rain, all of my, my vision likes to do this bouncing number. It really sucks, but I digress. Okay, which one do I wanna do? Yeah, let's do the headphones, cause that's what I would definitely be doing on a road trip. Um, especially if I was driving by myself, that is most definitely what I'd be doing. Um, because my kids are not great conversationalists anymore. Not that they ever have been, but now the majority of them are in their teen years. They don't care to uh, engage and talk with me. No. In fact, guys, on the road trip down, I had one kid sit up front and he plugged in his AirPods for the entire trip and fell asleep. I was like, man, you're so mean. So, yeah. So I just went and did my own thing and listened to my... I plugged one of my AirPods in and listened to my show. So I was like, fine, that's the way we're going to be. That's the way we're going to be. So yeah, we hightailed at home and we, if we had been 10 minutes earlier with getting that battery fixed and everything, we would have beaten the rain. We would have beaten the rain and would not have been in this huge downpour but yeah, I pull off. I'm like, I have to go to the restroom. And my husband's like, I have no idea where she's going because they were following me um, and stuff. So I call him. I'm like, I'm pulling off because I'm going to go use the restroom. He's like, okay. So they decide to pull off and get, you know, road trip goodies. Oh my goodness gracious. Got kids in the back seat just falling asleep. Yeah. So, okay. So Saturday and Sunday, we're going to make the same. I remember saying that. So let's let's come come full circle on my promise okay and here we go so yeah that was my adventurous sunday we get back we're all exhausted because that was well that was a fun that was a fun road trip um, think I mean I really enjoyed going and seeing the little town I want to go down there again and actually explore and be kind of touristy but yeah um, it was we were exhausted at that point so no filming got done um, and then we realized we needed to go get something for dinner so the refrigerator we have here at this house is gravy it is tiny okay where's my checklist oh there they are that and a thousand here. So the refrigerator we have in this rental is super, super tiny. We're like, I'm not shopping every, every three days. Like that's just not going to happen. So we have to go get another refrigerator. We're still unpacking things. So we're kind of living in this pseudo go eat out, go get, um, you know, pick up whatever you can find at the grocery store for dinner that night. That's the kind of um life we're living right now it's not a glamorous one it's not one i highly suggest but yeah so we have to go buy a refrigerator um just so that we can uh pattern okay just so we can uh store more more food um so that was an unintended expense that is coming around so I'm not exactly thrilled with that one but yeah the pseudo eating out um, going to the store picking it up I'm kind of over it so so yeah uh, let's see uh, looks like it's gonna be you because we don't want two greens together so there we go oh I'm kind of okay I'm not gonna forget about the um, weekend banner because it's been a while since I've done a weekend banner and I feel like it can go really well here. So, okay, come on. Oh, dang it, I just tore it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Trying to get it, it wanted to curl a little bit on me. So, because I pulled it off funny. Anyways, we'll save it. We shall save it. There we go. Perfect. You can't even tell. Ah, okay, sidebar action coming up. And then I think we shall be done. Okay. So then we went to go grab 
food for dinner that night because like I said we're in this pseudo thing and I was like I'm, I'm really kind of done we went and picked up eggs so we found ourselves an egg dealer here now that we don't have um, chickens because we can't have chickens at this house um, so we found ourselves an egg dealer and they're a little bit further out there and they're in more of like Amish Mennonite country I guess and all the horses and buggies were out yesterday. So I was super excited. Um, I'm always fascinated by that culture. Um, so I'm like, do they have a country store here? Like, I wanna go support. Like, this fascinates me so much. So we're gonna look for a country store um, so that we can go shopping there. And yeah, I mean, like I said, we just came home thoroughly exhausted and none of my filming got done. All right, so what do I need to do? I'm trying to figure out here. Okay, so we're gonna keep these, uh, da, 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 da. these headers or these quarter strips, we're gonna save those for the monthly. Got lots of that for the monthly. That's gonna be for the monthly as well. All right, let's see. Always being an adult, cause that's what I love to do. Just kidding. I don't like adulting. It's not the funnest thing in the world. So, yeah, so here we go. Let's see. What else can I add into the sidebar? I feel like it's always missing something. I always feel like I'm missing something in the sidebar. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay. I have to get back into um, my reading and podcast stuff. So let's do that. And I'm gonna make sure that I actually put it down to do it out in this area. Um, okay, this one will kind of be a little bit more white space in between it, which is perfect. That works for me. Okay, so podcast and audiobook. Really need to do that. I'm oh, I've got way too much going on. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I didn't use the date dots here, and that is because I'm going to save them for this monthly section. Okay, so this is what I do for the monthly area. Okay, I take my washi and I put it down into this header area here. And there's enough room up here that you're going to, that you're gonna to have to be able to um, put your washi strip, like your bottom washi strip. So that's what I like to do here. And then you know you've got all the boxes to work with. Um, I'm probably gonna to have to look in my calendar over here to see what days these start on well i mean i can figure it out i can figure it out yeah so may had 31 okay I've, I've got this i've got this figured out i know i do i don't know why i'm over overthinking this so then i just line up the bottom washi with the washi and the side here and then just scooch my washi over that's all i do that is what we do right there. And like I said, it goes pretty pretty much up to the top of the page, which for me is fine because I don't mind I don't mind that. And then you have your sidebar here, which you could use your checklist for different things. Um, I haven't figured that out. I haven't figured out most of my life for the monthlies here. Um, they're more like memory keeping for me in this aspect because I have everything else in one planner. Wow super sticky today. So just work slow with the paper and you'll be, you'll be fine. Okay. Then I grab my days of the week. So we have these individual day of the weeks over here. Um, they are up on the website and you get, how many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six. You get six weeks on one sheet. So that's actually pretty decent. I like to do a Monday start date on these ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just my days down. And every 
everything. And ooh, just dawned on me, I should make these in clear as well. I'm just thinking about that. I don't know why it just dawned on me that way, but that's how it's kind of working. So let's go ahead and see. Wow, I'm kind of shaky. Um, I don't want to spend forever long on this, but you kind of get the gist of how this works. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put my um, date dots down and do everything else. But I did want to show you that by having the full kit, you get more than just your week. You get multiple weeks, you get your, um, which I also do this because I have this one left and and everything. I also come over to this bottom area and just center it, you know, because it's obviously a 1.6 column, not a 1.5 column. And I just center it right there. And I've used up my sticker. I don't always use my sidebar for things. So this works out really, really well. I don't have any leftovers on this. So yeah. All right. Let me open this up and show you how the mystery kit turned out. That is how it turned out. Ooh, I am loving it. Yes, road trip. Even if you don't have a road trip planned, like road trip kits are just, it's just amazing. Sorry if you could hear the puppies bark. They're right above me. But yeah. All right, you guys. Mystery kit is up until the 24th and then it comes down. So if you want this, get it now. It's amazing. Affordable, friendly, high, high quality paper, all those things. Okay. Um, I'm going to get going. I'm going to finish doing the monthly and then I'm going to get started on another video. And with that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye now.